This week's episode is sponsored by the Brilliant Futures Institute. Instead of calling yourself a coach, focus on being a specialist in blank. Coaching is a thing you do. It's a method to get the result. Just like saying you are a speaker. You speak in order to get that result. You speak to a group. You're a trainer. As soon as you call yourself a coach, you are pigeonholing yourself. Welcome to the Preeminence Podcast. You cannot be a courageous leader if you're not vulnerable. Your legacy is every life you've touched. The only thing that changes our life long term is when we raise our standards. Now is the time to take risk. The way it's always been done isn't necessarily the way it should be done. What is your dream? What do you think 2050, 2100 is going to look like? The most incredible sort of mystery, I think, is now the question of what comes next. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Welcome to the Preeminence Podcast. I'm your host, Matthew J. Peters. Visit preeminence.tv to learn more about how to create a preeminent presence for your business, organization, or personal brand. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or just ask Alexa to play the Preeminence Podcast. I find a lot of people cashing in on the coaching industry. A lot of people thinking they can make a lot of money by calling themselves a coach. And I want to just kind of clarify something here. Number one is don't call yourself a coach. As soon as you call yourself a coach, you are pigeonholing yourself. It's like I remember when I was in Amway about uh, 22 years ago. As soon as you say the word Amway, boom, everybody thinks a certain thing about you. They think that it's a scam. They think it's all these different things and you're going to try to get them into this thing. It's the same thing as calling yourself a coach. Everybody has this light bulb go in saying, warning, warning, you're a coach. Stay away from them. And I want you to think about this. Instead of calling yourself a coach, focus on being a specialist in blank. Specialist in helping somebody through whatever it is that you help them. Focus on the result. A coach, coaching is a thing you do. It's a method to get the result. Just like saying you're a speaker. You speak in order to get that result. You speak to a group. You're a trainer. You are a mentor. Think about all those different things. Those are, those are ways. Those are methods of getting that result. So if I know everything there is to know about how the neural system works, I can be a specialist in that neural system. And I can say, you know what? You need to see this specific type of surgeon. You need to take these specific supplements. You need to read these books. You need to get this type of therapy. All those things are great, but as soon as you say that you are specifically a nutritionist, now it's just nutrition. It's blah, it's bland. Um, One of my clients had on their business card that they were a speaker. A speaker on what? A speaker about what? What is your specialty? A speaker is just a way for you to deliver information. And we're not about information. Information can be uh, received through doing a Google search. If you are a coach, don't call yourself a coach. Focus on being a specialist in whatever that result is. I help blank the people that you can help the most. This is your ideal client profile your avatar. I help these people, this small niche group, get this result. I help blank get blank. I help blank get through blank. And think about the value how and how you can increase it by getting even more specific. A lot of times people are really worried that they're not going to have enough people that are going to be their clients if they get really specific and niche it way down. Now, in the beginning, you don't want to niche it so far that you're going to reach uh, one, pe- one person in a thousand. Obviously, you want to identify the people that you can serve the best. Sure, you can serve a lot of people, but who is it you can serve the best? Who can you help get the best results? Out of all the people you've helped in the past, who did you get the best results for first and fastest? What type of people did you help that were the most invested in themselves getting the result that they set out for by hiring you, by investing in themselves through you? Who did you help the best? Okay, that's your niche. 
And what was that grand result that you helped him get? What is the value to that? Whatever it is that you say that you're doing, you're coaching people and get all the way down to what that defined value is. What was that value in their life? And really focus on that value. Because if we just say we're a coach, we're an entrepreneur, serial entrepreneur, boy, that's a scary one, serial entrepreneur or a, um, a coach, I'm a mentor or I am a, uh, a trainer, focus specifically on what it is you're going to bring as a result. Get rid of coach as your title, a blank specialist. I specialize in blank. I'm not going to even put anything in there. I want you to work through this. I want to ask you a favor. If you are listening this far, please send me a note. Send me a note at the letter M at ascend.net. That's the letter M at A-S-Y-N-D dot net. And let me know that you're getting value from this. I really want to make sure I'm going to deliver value and I'm not wasting your time. I'm not doing these just for the fun of doing them. I really want to make sure that people are getting something out of it. And one of the biggest things I found when I am helping people who are an expert at something is they focus on this term coach or they focus on this term trainer. I'm a fitness trainer. It's like, great, what do you, what do you specialize in? What's that result you're helping people get? Focus on that. Focus on the end result and you're going to be a winner. Don't peg yourself as a coach. You're going to turn people off and you're going to lose. That's all I have for you this week. I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you for listening to the Preeminence Podcast. Subscribe to hear powerful interviews and insights each week automatically downloaded the moment they go live. Share this episode with your team, your friends, and post it on social media. Let us know your comments and suggestions for the show at m at ascend.net. That's the letter M at ASYND.net.